All right, this is put a finger down, I'm jealous of you edition. If you put more than three fingers down, I'm coming for your soul. Put a finger down if at some point in your life you had a pet, any form of a pet. Put a finger down if you go on a vacation almost every year with your family. Put a finger down if you've been to LA. Put a finger down if you've ever won money through the lottery or anything like that. Put a finger down if you've ever had front row or VIP tickets to any concert. Put a finger down if your family allows you to play music with swear words in it out loud. <laughs> put a finger down if you never needed braces. And last but not least, put a finger down if it doesn't get cold where you live. Okay guys, if this is put a finger down, you are the nicest person I know. So do at this video and if you put more than five fingers down, you're definitely the nicest person I know. Put a finger down if you smile at strangers. Put a finger down if you laugh at people's jokes even when they're not funny. Put a finger down if you have paid for a stranger's groceries. Put a finger down if you have held the door open for a stranger. Put a finger down if you have made a donation to a charity. Put a finger down if you said sorry even though it's not your fault. Put a finger down if you stood up to somebody who is being bullied. Put a finger down if you tell your mom you love her every single day. Put a finger down if you sing in the shower. <laughs> and lastly, put a finger down if you watched a movie that you really didn't want to watch with a person because you knew that they really wanted to watch that movie because you love them so much. Put a finger down, but you're not going to know what it is till the end. Put a finger down if you're super open-minded. Put another finger down if you're spontaneous. Put a finger down if you make playlists for people or people are constantly begging you to make playlists for them because you have good music taste. Put a finger down if you have trust issues. Put a finger down if you fantasize about anything, like your future house, future just life in general. Put a finger down if you like cats, another one if you like plants, and another one if you want or have a piercing. Put a finger down if you like astrology. Put a finger down if you're indecisive. Put a finger down if you enjoy learning about spirituality and crystals and synchronicities and stuff. Put a finger down if you're not afraid to stand up for what's right. Put a finger back up right now if you judge people for things that they can't control. Lastly, put a finger down if you support LGBTQ or if you're a part of it. So, if you had six or more fingers down, you're now my friend. It's, just, it's official. This is put a finger down, your parents are very strict edition. If you have more than four fingers down, your parents are strict. Put a finger down if your parents have life 360. Put a finger down if your parents do not let you go out on the weekends. Put a finger down if you have a curfew. Put a finger down if your parents get mad when you have a grade below a B. Put a finger down if your parents don't let you date people. Put a finger down if you're 16 and you have your license, but they don't let you leave the house. Put a finger down if your parents have cameras all around your house. Put a finger down if you have to call them ma'am and sir. And lastly, put a finger down if they still decide what you can and cannot wear. Put a finger down, dumb person edition. Put a finger down if you've dropped your phone on your face while lying down. Put a finger down if you've broken a bone before. Put a finger down if you've walked into a sliding glass door because you thought it was open. Put a finger down if you've bit your tongue while chewing. Put a finger down if you've lost your phone. Put a finger down if you've spilt a food or drink on yourself or someone else. Put a finger down if it takes you a while to understand a joke. Put a finger down if you told someone you liked them over text. Put a finger down if you don't know how to spell necessary. And put a finger down if you sent a text to the wrong person. Alright, this is put a finger down, but I'm not going to tell you what it is till the end. Put a finger down if you've been diagnosed with more than one mental health condition. Put a finger down if you're a perfectionist, but also sometimes feel like, well, screw it, I'm never going to be good enough anyways. Put a finger down if you need constant reassurance. Put a finger down if you're terrified of failure to the point where you won't even take on new challenges because you're afraid of failing. Put a finger down if you feel responsible for fixing everyone in your life, even at your own expense. Put a finger down if it's really hard to accept criticism. Put a finger down if it's really hard to accept compliments or praise. Put a finger down if people refer to you as an overachiever. Put a finger down if your self-criticism is extremely vicious and persistent. Put a finger down if you feel super guilty when you ask for help or do something nice for yourself. More than seven fingers down and you're probably a formerly gifted and talented student with at least one emotionally unavailable parent. It's okay, I gotcha. I'm a psychiatrist. Follow if you need tips. Put a finger down, innocent person edition.
Put a finger down if you don't know where babies come from. Put a finger down if you don't know what a period is. Put a finger down if you never had a boyfriend or a girlfriend before. Put a finger down if you don't say bad words. Put a finger down if you don't drink. Put a finger down if you don't smoke or vape. Put a finger down if you don't know what getting high means. Put a finger down if you're 10 or younger. Put a finger down if you don't know what let's hook up means. Put a finger down if you're not in middle school yet. Put a finger down if you don't know what the word sexuality means. Put a finger down if you still believe in Santa. Put a finger down if you still believe in the tooth fairy. Put a finger down if you think girls or boys have cooties. Put a finger down if you don't know what twerking is. And last, put a finger down if you still sleep with your mom or your dad in the same bed. Put a finger down things everyone has done. Put a finger down if you've ever said ow even though it didn't hurt. Put a finger down if you've ever looked yourself up on Google. Put a finger down if you've ever pushed a pull door or pulled a push door. Put a finger down if you've ever pretended to drown in the pool to see if your family would notice. Put a finger down if you've ever faked an accent before. Put a finger down if you've peed in the shower. Put a finger down if you've ever laughed uncontrollably before you could even tell the story. Put a finger down if you've ever faked laughed at something that wasn't funny. Put a finger down if you put your music on shuffle and keep skipping until you get to the song you want. And put a finger down if you've ever yelled stay at an inanimate object as if it wouldn't fall. This is put a finger down stupid edition. Are you stupid? Let's find out. Put a finger down if you're Put a finger down challenge. Let's get right into it. Put a finger down if you have brown hair. Put a finger down if you have green or hazel eyes. Put a finger down if you have any piercings. Put a finger down if you wear glasses or contacts. Put a finger down if you're attractive. Put a finger down. Put a finger down. I will jump through the screen. Thank you. Put a finger down if you like coffee. Put a finger down if you're a cat person. Put a finger down if you're beautiful. Put a finger down. You are beautiful. Now put it down. Thank you. I appreciate that. Put a finger down if you like Harry Potter. Put a finger down if you're loving and deserving of everything in this world. Why didn't you put your finger down? I will jump through the screen if you do not put it down this moment because you deserve the world. You are an amazing being and don't let anyone tell you different. Put a finger down, are you ready to be in a relationship edition? Put a finger down if your ex is no longer a factor. Put a finger down if you're okay with who you are as a person. All right, this is put a finger down, extremely lazy edition. If you put more than five fingers down, you are a certified lazy person. Put a finger down if you've ever went out in the same clothes that you went to sleep with. Put a finger down if you've ever canceled plans on someone just because you were too lazy to get ready. Put a finger down if you've left the same bed sheets on your bed for so long just because you didn't want to change them. Put a finger down if you would rather go out to eat instead of just making food for yourself. Put a finger down if you wait for the latest possible moment.